Hello everyone. In this video, we'll do a reading about the upcoming month, August 2024. It's a general reading for August 2024. All zodiac signs, okay? So, I have three decks. If you'd like to participate, please think of yourself of your month of August and choose one deck. And we'll start our reading. chosen. So let's start with our deck number one, right away tarot. First of all, let's have a look what's the energy going to be like in August, what vibe are you going to be in yourself. We have Emperor reversed. So with this card we have the sort of um, feeling that maybe you might feel weak, you might not feel so <clears throat> strong and confident that you can do things. Uh, with the Emperor reversed, there's also a sense of uh, the structures collapsing or let's say someone who is like authority figure in your life, um, I don't know, your boss, your husband, your father, um, is influencing in a way you, you see them as weak, you don't see them as, um, you know, this uh, person who got everything in his own hands. Emperor reverse can also talk about this. A negative side of emperor maybe cruelty maybe you know um, this frustration over losing power you know sort of like when um, you know protection tends to be control or when you know sec safety and security tends to be some sort of like suffocating thing <clears throat> so that sort of situation but as for you you might feel a little weak, so to say, a little, you know, like you're losing that power or something like that. Um, okay, so let's uh, let's see what the the biggest challenge that looks like the biggest challenge. But let's look what's the biggest challenge. Uh, in August, well, we have the Six of Swords. It's like it can mean a trip. It can mean that you're thinking about going away for holiday. It can be that you want to get away, and it's either difficult to do, or if it's a trip, um, it, it causes a lot of challenges and difficulties to get it done. You know, so it becomes on its own uh, challenge, you know, that whole planning and buying and spending and, you know, worrying and, you know, so that sort of situation. Okay, what is the advice for you in August where sh you should focus? What's the best thing? Well, Nine of Pentacles is like a very calm card, very stable card. It talks about focusing on the simple things in life, focusing on routines, focusing on, you know, just uh, living a simple life day to day, you know, nothing crazy, just pretty, you know, like try to keep as much stability as possible, uh, predictability, you know, uh, probably hard working it can be focused on work if it makes you happy focusing on the little things to do um that is like livelihood i would say and just do not worry about too much out in the future or you know things like that just uh, i think stick to yourself be faithful to yourself and you know just daily life and 
uh, try to be happy in small things, focus on small things. It's kind of can be therapeutic even. Okay. Next, let's have a look at your home and family. <coughs> Basically, people you live with, <coughs> people under your roof, usually the closest family members. Okay, so everything is pretty much under control in that card. Again, these cards can indicate some sort of movement after the moment of being stuck. For example, you haven't been doing anything for a long time. Um, it's been very, uh, like, you know, um, kind of maybe you were saving money, <clears throat> talking about money and saving money and talking about documents a lot, talking about, <clears throat> sorry, things like that. Perhaps there hasn't been much change and like even kind of sticking to your daily life um, too much to the, um, to the level of embarrassment. Uh, there has been a lot of <clears throat> happiness when it comes to family, perhaps even criticism from outsiders of how you live your life. It can be. Now, uh, with the death card, it can be that this uh, might shift, this might uh, change, transform, some sort of big changes are happening. Can indicate a trip as well. All horses for me <clears throat> indicate some sort of movement trip. Uh, like we have the six of swords, so you might have a family trip, uh, trip with the family, or just your routine is gonna be disturbed because of the trip or movement or uh, moving the houses or something like that. And we have another card for trip. This, of course, can mean transport, uh, going away to places you know and uh, it can also be uh, representing the official authorities and getting the documents done and also someone not wanting the, to have the trip you know someone uh, being unhappy about it some sort of forced almost change okay next let's have a look at your friends people that are not family uh, your colleagues, perhaps, people, acquaintances, you know, people you say hi to when you go for a walk or walk the dog or go to the market or something like that. So what's going to be with these people? What are they going to bring in? What's your relationship with them? Okay, so we have this gossiping and um, looking back and... Okay, so first of all, this might indicate um, more like uh, people know you, you know, people see you and maybe mostly you walk and when you need to buy something, you go out and, you know, if you have friends, um, there might be some sort of financial imbalances, let's say who has better clothes, who has better what, and um, with the star, it can be, um, you know, going out at night, uh, spending money at night, restaurants, food, you know, but there's a considerable amount of gossip, like the people you go out with may talk behind your back, you might talk behind their back, so it's maybe a little bit of jealousy, a little bit of like that looking how someone looks, how someone shines, and um, also talking behind their back and feeling better about yourself and others to talk behind your back and feel better about themselves you know so some sort of like feminine women uh, type of uh, friendships or acquaintances that have that energy men usually are not like that or maybe they are some of them but in this case I feel like it's more female type of gossip and jealousy over financial possession, material possessions. 
Again, who's the most beautiful? That sort of thing. Who's more beautiful and more shiny? <clears throat> okay, next is uh, career and work. What's your career and work like? Do we have page of ones reversed? Okay, so we do have some sort of like um, maybe starting something new with a page of wands. Maybe it's a little bit of a, a fearful experience because you're not experienced in it. You know, magician reversed might talk to being quite scared of experience, not feeling it, not feeling like 100% in control. Um, might be feeling, you know, like it's getting a toll on you certain things um you know at work at career maybe it's new beginnings that were not uh, expected or some sort of new jobs because you might feel like clumsy a bit you know with the magician reverse it's magician upright so you're very confident in what you have and everything like that but magician reverse is probably don't feel that as much so that sort of situation you have and it's kind of it can be like a, a new thing as well uh, which is a good thing but uh, like a new job you know which you're doing for the first time and when you're going for the job you're a bit confused you don't have you don't know what to do because you haven't got skills or experiences. Uh, maybe it's also sort of like a, a search, you know, for yourself, like maybe I'll try this, maybe I'll try that. So in your case in August, we seem a bit lost, the sort of feeling of being a bit lost, you know, you're not sure, you're just touching this, you're just trying this. So maybe some th sort of new thing will come like a new course or a new job or a new uh, department, I don't know, the new something, which will not make you feel super empowered, but it's natural if it's new. Okay, the next <clears throat> would be um, uh, your love life in August, romance and love, any, even if you're in a relationship, I'm going to do this reading. If you're in a relationship, it will represent your relationship with your current partner, how much romance and love is there. And uh, in general, if someone else is hitting on you, you know, that sort of situation. So, okay, we have seven of pentacles reverse. Okay. Okay. So, okay, so we have all reverse cards and implementing reverse cards in my readings. And hoping to get more out of the tarot um although it's challenging enough with upright but um sometimes i don't understand you know which side of queen of wands for example the card is talking about i really would like to know is it negative side or positive side so that's why implemented so we see these all three reversed cards we have like mm, kind of there but kind of not not happy so probably i would say you might be in a relationship with someone but you might be not happy in that relationship it's like a breakup or failure not getting what you want constant uh sense that you're not getting what you should get from this relationship and there is no satisfaction uh or there is a relationship but it's not satisfying you know that sort of feeling when it's not enough or something is missing or um, it can even be um, for example uh, some sort of even uh, depression or feeling low or having a bad health and not being able to enjoy this uh, relationship for some reason So whatever it is, it does seem unsatisfying, to be honest. With marriage, can be also like a financial element, like someone's not making enough. Maybe you're not making enough, maybe they're not making enough. Maybe there is some sort of fights about money 
uh, sort of like our financial situation, like lack of something material might affect the relationship uh, to the level where you fight and you know it's totally unsatisfying, you kind of just like very disheartened and um, upset, let's see. The next, we'll have a look at your spirituality. That means any your spiritual spiritual growth. Um, I don't know how to measure spiritual growth to be honest, but uh, let's see. I want to look for maybe some psychic experiences at least. Maybe uh, uh, like let's see how well you're connected um, to that yourself, inner you. Means how healthy you are mentally spiritually how uh, and it can say if you're living your life step to like hand in hand with with that spiritual you where what's the best for you spiritually so spirituality in August ooh the devil wow seven of swords oh Okay, when we talk about spirituality and we get the devil, we might get what we call in Christianity, sedu sedu devil sed seducing you, you know, it, you might get that, uh, some sort of guilt uh, going over some sort of indulging thing that you did, or perhaps with the devil sometimes you might have bad dreams, or almost like nightmares, you know, maybe guilt over sex for some people guilt over marriage what's happening in the marriage maybe you see a marriage is uh, criminal or there's something happening that you don't like and there is a certain level that you feel is being done wrong and you very clearly feel about that and it hurts so i think uh you know marriage your relationship like your sexuality and things like a bit hidden a bit taboo something they might be the most important spiritual lesson right now with this card we might also have like a for some people I don't want to scare everybody it's just a meaning uh, of a card that I'm gonna say which is psychic attack and uh, so to say like maybe someone said something maybe someone's jealous maybe someone uh, sort of like uh, gave you an evil eye you know, I personally believe in evil eye, although I don't believe in many other things, but sort of like when you're doing great and someone, uh, and you tell everybody about it, people start being jealous or gossiping about it, talking about it, and that's already what I consider to be an evil eye. And then suddenly everything collapses and or gets really bad and you kind of lose it, what you were boasting about. So it's sort of like something something gets to you you know something gets to you and mm -hmm. these cards might show that sort of thing although ace of swords in the end looks like very positive for me it looks like understanding it all it's not a secret you know it you're very conscious about it you're aware about it so awareness i think is like 80 percent of solving the problem it's like 80 percent of winning the the issue over the issue you know so it feels like if there's some negative something either it's from other people either it's some guilt over your relationships or you know anything you're aware of it and you're like tracking it sort of and i think when you're tracking it you'll solve it or it'll get solved halfway solved basically because a real real um struggle is when you do not see what's happening or you do not see things for what they are but you see here so it indicates some sort of victory over that awareness and standing up for yourself you know that sort of uh, feeling and if you're having nightmares or anything they're just trying to tell you what's happening you know they're just delivering the information Okay, the next is um, your health. Let's have a look at your health real quick. Okay, it looks like a recovery uh, from 
some sad situation. You know, this card can indicate uter uterus. You know, and issues with that uterus, so painful periods, for example. And um, things like that. So, let's see, we have you suffering from heavy bleeding or something. Uh, lots of pain. And for some people, it can be trying to get pregnant and not successfully. Uh, due to family pressure can be ten of pentacles reversed and Although we have uh, Loss in the past like it's a slightly recovery is there slight recovery um, like Sort of like feeling better than before Feeling better than before and some sort of like uh, resilience to to all the problems. And in the end, if with this card we we have that probably uh, if it's trying if you're trying to get pregnant or something like that that might not happen uh, at at the moment and uh, you know if it's uh, some other issue sometimes it might indicate you know pills taking medicines for for that issue you know uh, which you don't like for example also it can show that family life um, affects your health mental and physical and you might have ailments in your body pains over let's say family criticism or family influence so for example like if you have a big family even almost like neighbors also consider family sometimes so if the pr pressure of many people uh, to perform in a certain way might put uh, like a shadow over your overall well-being and happiness so this card seems to be talking about that mainly advice what to do about it so basically avoid the toxic people avoid the toxic uh, relationship avoid the you know um, if there is a particular person that's you know very strict or something like that or you yourself are strict towards you it has to be a little bit of release of that and not giving in into you know that um, like sort of like fighting or ju uh, ju being judgmental so maybe there is a person who's like fighting with you criticizing you judgmental towards you always con trying to control you so it's like avoid them don't don't get involved with them with their debates and their whatever uh try to completely make yourself far away agree with everything but don't agree with anything okay so this was our reading number one for the month of august i hope um this reading kind of resonated with your situation you don't know your situation yet because august hasn't come but let me know in the comments if, if for example you're having really a trip or there is such a person like king of wands reverse that is bothering you and um you know you don't have to share anything that you don't want, of course, but you can just um, share or like the video if you want, if it's resonating, if it's helpful. Okay, so this was our reading number one. Let's move on to our deck number two. Our deck number two is Hanson Roberts' deck, and we're reading about the month of August your month of august okay 2024 
okay so first card will represent you your person in the month of august your vibe your energy what will you are you all about five of rods well five of rods it's basically uh when you're kind of like really active it might be uh, uh, playing sports a lot being super active dynamic moving talking a lot doing a lot of things kind of like in a competitive mood trying to win others over it can be small fights small fights kind of funny fights sometimes not so funny uh, and also this card can indicate extreme anxiety uh like being very anxious always on the go sort of like buzzing in the brain can't even sleep because you know like you have to do something you have to do something there's some sort of nagging uh thought is there and making you buzzed and all hyped up you know so sort of like when you cannot relax there are people everywhere there is some sort of movement from everywhere and can be from within as well like anxiety self-induced uh, where you think you have to be active, productive, or whatnot. So that's your vibe in August, super, super active, I would say. What's the main challenge? Well, I would say work, career, studies, uh, skills, getting skilled, um, do, getting something done, you know, mastering some sort of art, maybe studying for exams uh, for some people. For other people proving oneself at work and uh, getting along with colleagues while proving yourself at work or doing a good job so we have that sort of situation here now what is advice for august okay we have two of cups we have two of cups reverse it's funny that it's an advice but um well it can say um, be careful because your anxiety and competitiveness might influence your relationships with people. You know, it might uh, you might make uh, enemies from this. So watch out. From other perspective, it might say, you know, um, maybe you don't need to do everything. Maybe you need to let go of some hobbies, of some plans, because you cannot complete everything. It's impossible. And another meaning can be maybe you need to let go of some of the friendships that might be, you know, toxic or, you know, just on purpose break up with some friends, sort of. Anyway, so that can help the anxiety, that can help uh, to minimize your relationships and sort of uh, be happier with whatever is happening. So that sort of situation. Now let's have a look at let's have a look at your family life, people you live with under the same roof. What's happening with them? What's your relationship gonna be with them in the month of August? We have the death card, we have the nine of cups reversed. Lovers. Okay, so we have a, a good situation here. We have like a reunion with the people in your family. So with the death card, we see something happened, something like a big change happened, and uh, people are not happy about it. Either you are not satisfied about it or your family members. So it can be someone sold something, someone moved somewhere, something, uh, someone traveled somewhere, someone is unsatisfied about that but it brings people together that change that dissatisfaction this uh, talking about it, it it kind of brings people together and at the end of the day you'll feel you're united you know after those uh, hardships or illness or some sort of like a trip or big like stagnation type of moment like silence or not talking and now you're together so uh, well, it can indicate that being together in difficult situations, but also can be, you know, overcoming the bad situations and enjoying being together. So those type of things. The next uh, position will be 
about your friends, acquaintances, and people you meet that are not your family. So let's say your friend circle, your social uh, circle. What's your relationship with them in August? Emperor reversed, devil, eight of pentacles. Well, I would say it's more negative than positive. You know, with them, we have sort of like, like, uh, like sort of like obligation to communicate with them. <clears throat> you have this obligation that you don't want. Uh, you might see them as um, someone you don't want to meet. Uh, most most likely or someone who's pushy and trying to like put some pressure on you to, to do something to go out somewhere to you know to do some things and you feel like it's not good for you you know it, it sometimes can be that these friends are financially bad for you for example when you are with them you either drink alcohol or you spend too much money or do you just kind of go out and do things, but then you kind of feel like you didn't really want to, you know? So uh, maybe they ask you for money. You know, there are these friends who like, can you lend me money? And um, at the end of the day, you're kind of a nice person, you lend the money, but then you feel very bad about yourself, very <clears throat> like, you don't feel any joy from that. You know, you don't feel any, you feel like it's just pretend relationships and vague and um, exterior type of relationships. So you might not uh, enjoy that and maybe you shouldn't uh, be with them. So like two of cups reverse, maybe it says you have to choose your friends better if they're making you lose money or and make you feel about, bad of, about that, of course. Um, and if there's no joy and it's just vanity or emptiness within then perhaps these are not so important relationships anyway let's now have a look at your work and career what's happening in your work and career okay we have three of swords reversed seven of again uh, some sort of uh, dissatisfaction slightly, maybe loss at work, maybe you're gonna lose your job for whatever reason, maybe you don't like the pay, you know, it could be you don't like the pay actually. It might be not a big deal though, it might be like slight dissatisfaction, like you're doing it, but you feel that you don't want it, you know, you don't feel happy you don't feel achieved you don't feel like you're growing you don't feel like your money's coming in you feel maybe that it's just enough to survive or you're even ashamed of your job for example sometimes it happens you're ashamed to tell somebody that you do this job and how much you earn in some cultures it's unacceptable to ask how much you earn but in some cultures it's acceptable but whatever the reason you feel like you don't get any respect or don't feel the sense of growth and in that job or that you're developing as a person maybe it's a boring job or something like that intellectually maybe numbing sometimes so that sort of feeling okay the next let's have a look at <clears throat> Your love life, love and romance, love and romance, queen of rods. Okay, so we do have um, a situation like a group love situation, <laughs> group love situation. Now, maybe you hang out with friends, maybe the one you like is in the group of friends, one of the friends basically um, because we have all these good cards reversed queen of rods reversed ace of cups reversed it shows that that real love is not happening it's more like uh un unlove or the love is not there like it's not there maybe it's a one-sided love or maybe 
you're in love with your friend's uh, partner or something like that and or maybe you know that I don't feel like being in a relationship that much uh, with someone but I feel like being disappointed about love uh, over a third party situation maybe the person you love is with someone you know maybe you have a crush that is with someone you know you know that they are unavailable sort of and it makes you feel sad simply you know and this slight jealousy going on now the jealousy can be you're jealous or it can be competition over one person among friends you know how it happens um or maybe you simply don't want to have anybody right now maybe you just um want to hang out with people and do not have any romantic relationships so we have that sort of uh, situation here you know uh, where where the love is just not happening for whatever reason maybe someone's cheating on someone you know that sort of situation where it's just no satisfaction what is the advice in that high priestess so if it's uh, you know high priestess first of all means secrecy if someone is hidden and if you sometimes it means Keep it hidden if you have any feelings towards someone, don't tell anybody. You know, it can be like it's shrouded in mystery that love and romance is like either you yourself uh, don't want to like, like someone but not telling them or uh, someone likes you but they are not telling you you know so of course the advice could be you can tell someone you like them like maybe they're clueless but then you know there is this total uh, confusion and being not sure whether the person even is interested or and it can be the same with them it can be confusion whether you believe your own mind whether you really like someone if it's just an illusion or maybe it's just a charm or something so you, there's lots of doubt and like uh, not knowing how to approach that secret that uh, situation so I feel the advice is that You know, it's better to keep it hidden. It's better to keep it hidden, you know. Okay. Because of these many people that are involved, I'm not sure. Okay, so this was a reading about love and romance. Something is happening, but it's not quite as one would like. Now, looking at the spirituality. With spirituality, let's have a look at any psychic experiences that are happening. Your spiritual growth. Are you in tune with your values? Let's say, are you in tune with your morals? Are you in tune with your path? Let's say, if we come here to have to travel a certain path, are you in tune with that path? Okay, we have. Okay. Okay, we have like a slight. Should I say depression when it comes compared to what your natural state should be? That is a, too much of a sort of like the uh, depression. Yeah, I call it. Perhaps um, believing that you cannot achieve something. Uh, not having motivation to, to you know find the perfect way not having them not believing in you know your spiritual path not having different beliefs maybe you're a stoic maybe you're an atheist maybe you're some nihilist um, who doesn't have this uh, that you know ha this is a path this is my mission I have to try live this so if people do not believe in this type of concepts they cannot act accordingly as if they believe in those concepts 
and there is a little bit of uh, suffering because of that and not finding your own peace perhaps but um, and that doesn't lead to an action that could be um, like positive like if you have confidence and you'll take action if you feel like you um, there's no use you will not take action so we have that sort of situation let's have a look at your health Okay, so we do have like maybe some issues again with hormones maybe some issues with uh, with uh, hormones that affect moods maybe taking some supplements or vitam vitamins or medicines to improve those uh, moods or those uh, hormones like lack of some vitamins that affect you know the hormones that affect the brain that affect you know how you feel like lack of some vitamins can cause depression like vitamins b and things like that they say um doctors say that you know vitamin like lack of vitamin d can cause us be more depressed let's say if we don't go out outside and we don't, not exposed to light and not taking a supplement you know we, it might affect us so that sort of situation uh, but the king of rods and justice may indicate that you are under the um, uh, care of a doctor and you do visit doctors and these doctors give you the right advice and prescribe you the right things or just give you the right advice you know of how uh, what to do what not to do so it's sort of like you're in the right safe hands when it comes to health and although there might be some minor issues you're not like alone and you're going to hospitals and clinics and maybe online consult online and get the help you need okay so so this was our reading number two I do hope that this made any sense for you and Please share in the comments if anything resonated from this reading. I don't know, love situation, it can be financial situation, whatever you want to share. You don't have to share and I wouldn't advise to share anything that you would not want to share. And you would like to keep a secret, keep it a secret. And now we're going to do the reading number three. Reading number three with Morgan Greer Tarot. Okay, so first question, we're doing a reading for your month of August 2024 and the first card will represent how you feel, what's your vibe in this month. Okay, we'll have the Ace of Swords reversed. Now the Ace of Swords reversed, uh, we might feel some discouragement going, um, like usually, let's say you might be someone who knows what to do but this month you're kind of like disheartened you might not know exactly you know, might not see that clearly the situation and might not be, be able to do the right you know like decision or see it clearly because if you cannot see it clearly you cannot act clearly Yeah, the sort of situation might not see it clearly and sometimes 
um, with this card can even be uh, like anger, you know, too much anger uh, on at everybody and everyone the whole month. Uh, just wanting to be cruel, just wanting, you know, that's coming from within, you know, it's, uh, you shouldn't be that maybe, but you feel that whole, uh, like I'm fed up with everybody, with everything and everybody, and there's this anger. Okay, what's the biggest challenge? Do we have the Queen of Cups? So it might be uh, for you a love matters, it might be your own emotions, your own weaknesses, it can be a certain female. For example, a family member might drive you crazy. It might be your best friend driving you crazy. It can be some person of a water sign who's a water sign, Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. You know, people like that can really be very emotional and unpredictable and you know like a cry babies and sometimes really mad so maybe it's that person for you it might be even you for some of you might be a water sign and your qualities might drive you crazy and the same water that can be weak and very flowy and submissive sometimes might turn really mad um, and, and cruel at times and angry so <clears throat> so that sort of situation now What is advice for this month? Temperance reversed. Well, with temperance reversed, <clears throat> it can be a warning about some sort of a lack of balance in how you do, uh, handle things. Yeah, it's uh, too many, for example, uh, like even losing that um, equilibrium, so to say, losing that uh, balance in relationships, losing that balance everywhere. It's just something getting out of balance. So advice would be um, focus on keeping that balance. Uh, be careful about everything's getting out of hand, uh, being like getting into fights with everybody you know because there's anger there, there is annoyance over someone being weak you cannot change stand weakness or some sort of like nostalgia or sentimentality and this card might talk you know that things might collapse if you try if you are not keeping that balance so it's like super important to to reduce anything that's making you stressed out so that reduce that anger, reduce that rage, so that, you know, you can be less mean to others, which actually hurting yourself only because by breaking any relationships with colleagues or family members or someone, you're just gonna suffer, basically, in the end, and there are other ways to do this. Okay, the next is the next is um, your family and people in your house. What's gonna be your relationship with your family members? That page of rods reversed. Page <laughs> of rods reversed. Okay, we have fights. We have tension. Uh, it can be silly competitions, it can be um, annoyances, it can be these little little things, but it seems like um, a bit heightened situation uh, of little fights, you know, like brother sisters, you know, little little annoyances, stress, some sort of like uh, stress again, uh, buzzing stress. Now, uh, these two cards indicate uh, some sort of change. Uh, this card indicates a student. This card indicates uh, new beginnings. It can be studies, because ones are like career cards. Um, but there's something like uh, the change is not accepted well. The change is not going well. And that causes frustration and stress. The next is 
your acquaintances, friends, colleagues, people, your social circle, let's see, what's your relationship going to be with them? Again, reverse card. Okay, so we do have It's like um, we have interesting something interesting going on now with the Empress the these are okay I think these represent you yourself it can represent uh, the fact that you're not in your best state you know with these cards you might not be in the best state uh, uh, as we saw like you might not listen to people what they're saying you might not you might keep uh, breaking the rules all the time you might be uh, rash and have no clear uh, care like careful thinking you might do keep doing mistakes you know these two cards might indicate some sort of like cheating secrecy hiding something and either wanting to do that on purpose even because of rage or not even able to if you're cheating let's see, or if someone like uh is cheating there is no even motivation to hide it that's sort of like a total give up like whatever you know and the empress you know it can be um a female or males or females it can be a woman that is influencing like manipulating sort of like in in your relationship she's not family she's someone from outside and she might um, kind of be very strong as a person she might have very uh, very like strength even strong voice and very big confidence level of confidence but what she says there's uh, some sort of like um, lies surrounding her either she is herself like a, a dangerous kind of like person or maybe she herself is uh not saying all the truth or maybe she herself is hiding something so also though empress is a woman it can also represent some sort of business and um like friends who offer to do business and there's some dodgy things with that business you know with the moon and seven of swords i know it's reversed but still uh, we have that sort of like something with money that comes as seems that good like a good thing it's actually a not a good thing like it's um like fraud like a scam like some sort of like dangerous activity uh, risky activity you know so we have that sort of thing now let's have a look at your career and work situation Okay, we have a lot of uh, income. I see lots of income coming in. Uh, like you're earning well enough. Like there is even the status of a celebrity perhaps. Or someone uh, having a big experience in what you do. And uh, that sort of thing. But now it's being followed by the hermit. Uh, but then there's some sort of like um, not uh, not liking what you're doing, not, no, not not having appreciation for what you're doing. And uh, like feeling poor anyway, you know, feeling poor anyway, uh, being like odd one out somehow in that maybe job or career, all the pace. And if it gives a celebrity status or like a higher up person in a like in a company or something, you feel like you're lonely there. You know, you feel like you're lonely there, and and it makes you maybe you lose that. Um, you don't have joy. You know, you don't have joy from that. And uh, but I feel like you're not alone. There are many people like you and. 
you know, maybe at work or just friends who kind of like say, well, I'm going to do the same thing. It's just like that. We are just the same. So it feels like there is a group of people who are just like you who are in your situation and you find that support somewhere and from others. Like maybe if you're a celebrity, there are other celebrities who feel the same way, you know, and if you're higher up in the your job, others also feel the same way. Or maybe there are people who aren't just as well as you. Um, they feel the same way that, oh, it didn't bring us that joy what we expected. So that sort of situation. Now the next question is love and romance. Let's have a look. Love and romance. weird <laughs> all cards are just leaving and um it can be with this card traditional meaning is proposing to someone um telling you love them telling how you feel about them um so there's a sense of not getting enough if you're in a relationship it feels like getting just left over or like coins in that relationship like you don't get care and attention things like that and um and perhaps you you're moving on from that there's some sort of like a giving up or not wanting it or realizing everything so you might actually um sort of like disappointed in it but um, and it's kind of leaving it it's kind of still uh, wanting to leave but not being able to leave or something like that you know wanting to leave but not being able do we have that sort of but uh, it feels like you're not interested in keeping a relationship as such at the moment like there is this not wanting to be where you are uh, trying to escape what you have you know trying just not having the energy to deal with anything you know just escapism looking for it somewhere else i don't i'm not even convinced that you're actually interested in, in the relationship you're just so frustrated and angry that you don't like care you know it seems you know but um you don't even care enough to leave that sort of feeling like you don't even care enough to leave so the next question is your spirituality what's happening there power big changes are happening uh actually good spiritually good pretty i think good here so the worse it gets like in a physical world it seems the better it is in a spiritual world because the tower exploding is kind of like a spiritually good sign it says that your illusions are falling off and your like beliefs are collapsing your old uh, thought structures and these concepts that you had before are just collapsing you know and the new things are starting to happen new things starting to happen in a way that it seems that it's going well the collab collapsation as i call the collapse of all beliefs is basically what we're here for it's where to break our some sort of limits and release ourselves from that and find our purpose basically enlightened so i listen to Eckhart tolle a lot is of course and he says that uh, life is not here to make us happy life is here to make us enlightened um i don't know if i if i quoted it correctly but i really like listening to him and things like that i think it's very close to buddhism like buddhism philosophy where you know basically life is suffering and suffering is caused by our wishes and we can change that by not having wishes you know and then life becomes suddenly more simple 
So I see that in those three cards. I see there is a very healthy uh, collapse. It's a very welcomed change. And there is working, it's continuing change. It's not just it happened one day and it stopped again, but it's ongoing change, you know, and that might come through work a lot. That might come realization through work and skills. Like uh, maybe you thought you can change things and now in, through your work, you know, that is useless or you cannot change things and, you know, things like that. And uh, through knowing that you don't know anything, it brings uh, freedom. Uh, it brings that, um, you know, that I don't know anything. I'm like sort of, I'm at the begin, I'm the beginner in everything. It brings a freedom, you know, to be who you are, you know, really. Let's have a look at our next three cards, which talk about. What do you say? It's, it talks about health. It talks about health, the three last cards. So we have King of Swords. Okay, so uh, we have the, with the King of Swords, okay, some sort of illness, mild illness, some sort of like a issue that you might have had. Um, let's say even operation or surgery or injection or something. Uh, the doctor might have, you had to lay down for, for the doctor to do it. Yeah, and uh, with this card, we again have the uterus for women. And uh, maybe getting pregnant or, you know, conceiving possibly uh, through some sort of surgical thing. And for males, it can be some sort of healing happen. Like if you had any uh, like issue for so for women also good and for males also good. Like um, some sort of medication was issued perhaps that um, made you heal from the situation. So uh, basically, we see healing here. So this was our reading for August 2024. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope you have a wonderful August and I hope you have a wonderful day and night and I hope to see you again soon. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.